Right, it's twenty past three. It's been fucking snowing today. I'll show you what we've, uh, what we've got from the top anyway, at least. Uh, I'll show you what. We've... So Thursday, on Thursday now. Hold up. All that's up, all the way around. Just got some reds here. Loaded out for tomorrow. Put under these windows. So, all the way around there. Um, just got to do. Da, 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 da. I'll do this tomorrow. Like fucking 70 brick there and some block on the inside. I'm gonna work through tomorrow. It's an early day. And uh, I think we'll be on either a garage. I think we're gonna go on a garage Saturday. So I didn't film anything Friday, um, but here's a bit of footage from uh, uh, this garage we did on Saturday. It's fucking Saturday. Probably best set up I've had for a garage in a long time. Check it out. There we go. One profile, two profile, three. Uh, when you've got a stabiliser, it'll tie wire to level them up. Uh, and just tighten your clamps extra tight, get them deep into them joints. That pretty much holds them up till about 10. And you've got to check them again, put another F clamp on. Uh, you could put some timber on, but mine aren't really big enough for timbers. Uh, so yeah, run two course on this damp on. And then, uh, yeah, we've got a tub. That's it, we've just loaded this as a tub. Should be using two hour on this, easy. Right, see you next clip. Hey guys, Harry here, and welcome to another Brick Lane vlog. I uh, managed to get my second video out of this week. Uh, so, two is probably repeatable. Uh, mainly, because I seem to be getting two out a week. Uh, I sort of record Monday to Wednesday and then Thursday to Saturday because I do like a six day week now. We're working a Saturday. So, we came into this garage, we had to knock two course of uh, bricks off because um, it was a change into a yellow brick from the uh, like the house which, which I uh, started all those weeks ago. Uh, so, this is the garage for the plot that I've got uh, basically. Almost a pan now. Um, about seven course, seven course off wall plate, and a couple of course of common. I had a couple had a comment about the uh, saying that why I put a course of common all the way around that that third lift, but it works works out with your corners, works out with your windows, and it's just easier to do it like that. Uh, other than you know having you know no bond on your corners. Um, on your last two course, you know, so a block, so it's just a bit easier than I find it is anyway. Some people do it differently, you know, it's just the way I've always done it. I like everything to run evenly, all your ties to be set at the same height as well. If you do a course of common, you know, you've got, you know, a block and a common, then a tie again. So, you know, you're, uh, all your ties run at the same height, same level. In a way, it's putting in an extra course of ties in a sense, but, you know, it just looks a bit nicer to me. It's easier. You, you know, you can't forget it then, and uh, uh, you've got a bit more play as well. If you have to pick up or tighten down because you've got high in your block work, you can easily have that play with uh, two or three course of commons. You know, uh, obviously I put a common, then a block, then another two course of commons to play. So you can easily play with your play tight if you've got a laser level or something like that. If you want to level it up, perfect. But um, you know, if your measurements are right, you know, you've, there's no reason to really use a a laser. I'm going to probably get one uh, in the coming within the year, you know, uh, just because in case we drop on some footings, because um, you know I'd like to try footings again. I've not, I haven't done any in six, seven months, and the ones I was on were a bit crap for making money. They weren't scraped very well. You know, you can have footings that even if they don't scrape them flat, they can scrape them pretty much damn near. Um, but I'd like to do some footings again, just for a bit of change of pace, roughen up a bit, you know. It's a little bit of a, you know, it's a little, it's just stress-free, really, um, compared to the housing, because you've got a lot more snags and, you know, trays and cavities and everything like that, so it'd be nice to do some footings at some point, um, you know. But we're on this garage today. I've got a three-profile set up. Um, obviously, as you, as you can see, I'm sort of breaking off to, you know, uh, set Dean going uh, because the back of this, you know, as basically every pot that's been sat out in here, the gang that's built it just don't own a gauge tape, so all the perps were ginormous. Um, and, you know, even though these bricks are small, the perps on the other bricks, which measure correct, the red bricks, they were massive, so makes these 
these pips where obviously the bricks measure small even bigger so you know there's no excuse really why they can't be just set out correctly but it is what it is you know um it's just laziness you know that's all it is and i've got to fucking get over it now you know using probably you know twice the amount of gobble per perp laying the brick you know easily a second or so slower because of the uh big joint but it is what it is um so uh i've got obviously i haven't used any timber stabilizers i could uh, normally uh pop some bit of uh 3b1 or 4b1 on the uh on the profiles to stabilize them even if it's just um laterally so um so it stop it pulling over you know i normally just use one bit of timber and then i can normally stop it moving sideways with f clamps um, that's a good way to go you know i normally do that i've got i did that on the far end um after i'd run a few coursing because the profiles do tend to pull a little bit especially on something like a garage where there's no block work to stabilize it um but my profiles are a little bit smaller a little bit you know short i might end up buying some new box section at some point and uh, getting some slightly bigger uh slightly taller you know profiles you know i only reach 20 three course max normally and only reach 21 or 22 or so and the profiles normally get me to 21 and then i have to sort of just bop a brick on the top or build a too high corner you know for uh, sometimes as well you know you can also build you do a, like a little three course corner um you know at your gable height just so it's you've got you can easily get your profiles on next lift i've thought about doing that but i don't use blakes and I just sort of make it up as I go along with the profiles at the moment. Sometimes I'm tailing out free hands, sometimes I'm using three like I am at the moment. But I've found three seems to be the, you know, the optimal setup and it it is easier, you know, you haven't got to think as much when you're when you're r r lining everything in. You just have to keep an eye on your profiles, make sure you don't get gobble up to them, um, if you're you not use it, you know, if you're using box section like me. And it's it's pretty easy. Um, the perps were big all over this garage, so that's why it's I'm not really doing pick and dip all the time. It's it's not always doable. You've got to have nice tight perps for pick and dip. Uh, nice, you know, nice good sized perps, should I say, not silly big. And um, the the yellow bricks aren't as good for pick and dip as the um, as the red ones. But we're on concrete next. Uh, I think we'll have nearly got this garage done on Monday. I think we'll just have. You know, I'm going to reach as high as I can because these garages have little gables on them at each side. So um, I'll reach probably because we we had to take the splash off. That's two course, and I think the 29 or 28 course. These garages, I've not counted them yet, but I reckon I can reach about 25, 26 probably. Um, that's including that's the splash I put back on. So maybe I reckon 20. If I can reach 25, that'd be cool. That'd be like a 23 eye reach, and then when we, when you come to square it up for uh, wall plate when they scaffold it, um, you know you can build right up the gable, you know, to get because you know like five courts around a garage is only 70 bricks or something like that, so you know, maybe 65. I'm, I think I think it's 70, um, depending on the size of the pillars, but 70 around a garage, you know, you got five courts to get it to plate, so. No, sorry, six cost to get to plate. Seven, six is a 40, so that's like 410 bricks, 420 bricks. So, you know, if you're having a big day, you can just build the gables a little bit higher and rack back. Um, and then you've got like a, you know, a little job doing the cuts and stuff when they put the roof on, you know, getting it up to uh, height. There's no cobbles on this or anything on these garages. They're nice and simple. No banders on these. Uh, I don't think there is anyway. I'll check Monday. Um, but none of the other single garages have them, so I presume not. Uh, and they're not till 18 course anyway, so I'm not nowhere near them in this video. I only get about 12 course on the garage. Uh, it's only one tub we used, so I got us about, uh, more or less exactly 400 bricks. So like 400 bricks get is a tub, and it is a brim tub is 400 bricks. Um, you could probably get probably 500 out of uh, with Connie bricks um, because they don't use as much gobbo, but. Uh, this is probably this is one of the last garages I think uh, with clays. Don't know if we'll end up. I don't think we'll end up doing the other one. I think we'll be on a plot by then. Uh, but yeah, we've probably got rest of Monday, a little bit of Tuesday on this garage, and then 
Um, we might be on some top outs on here. I think they want me to do some top outs, which I don't mind. Um, nice, straight, fucking easy. Easy job of top outs. I don't mind doing them. Um, not bother whatever I do, to be fair. Um, we're pretty, it's pretty stress free on this job, so. Um, sort of make money every week. Make money every week. And I'd never have a bad week. It seems at the moment, even obviously working a six day a week's a bonus. Um, you're not gonna have a good. You're not gonna have a bad week, are you? Working six days, but we even with the weather, we've still been able to do some every day. We've not, you know, we've used at least a tub of gobble every day. Sometimes two, sometimes one and a half. But um, Dean's happy because he, he don't like losing time. Obviously, you know. So I'm I'm trying my hardest never to go on. You know, to just you know at least get a full shift in. And I've you know I've said if we worked at least one, I'll give him a full shift any day. So. Even if we're loading out, so you know it helps him out, and he's doing that well on the trial now. You know, it's I want to keep him working with me, you know, as long as possible, and try and teach him all of everything I can, um, because it's just working out really good. It, it was really hard with just me and Mel, you know, it wasn't suited when we don't have proper labour. Uh, but a lot, you know, I'll never again go without labour. I don't think. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that was uh, as you can see, I'm just you know squaring the uh, pillar up for him. And then I plod back to the other side of the line, you know, to keep checking on him periodically, and uh, you know, away we go. You know, he's he's putting down a few bricks, is uh, and it is making a difference because I don't have to work as uh, quite as hard. I don't have to weigh him quite as quick. I can make sure everything's, I can double check everything, make sure everything's quite correct while he's laying a few bricks, and just makes a better job in general. You know, so um, yeah. Hope everyone's enjoying the videos. Hope everyone enjoys the. Uh, Bit of garage footage. Um, I'll probably not record Monday because I've got to leave at half two. Um, again, I've got to go get me tracking done on the car. Well, that's about it. Um, so I'll probably see you guys on probably Wednesday with another video. Probably. So hope everyone's had a good weekend. I'm going to have a beer and uh, enjoy the rest of the footage. I'm going to put on a bit of uh, a bit of music over the rest of this. You can. See how I, uh, how I lay the brick on this particular day. So, alright, see you in the next clip. I'm just a no to make you smile. And you need me to hold. Bye.
mankind won't be destroyed. The fact that you and I are working here today is evidence of that. I'm on my own, broken alone I feel the rain crashing down All around this empty town I'm searching for the lost and found But you don't care, you're unaware Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air, like a blazing flare
seas Oh, you meant the world to me
So yeah, that's, uh, that's 400 brick today. Uh, check it out. So yeah, that's uh, it's half 12. 400 brick down there. Nice, nice little start. I've got to just alter that little up to that window. I was 100 mil out. Red drawing wrong. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna cut them bricks out of my cutter tomorrow um, for a half an hour job to brick them back up. And uh, yeah, back on here. Dean will load this out for half an hour. The two tubs on here tomorrow, try to get a, a six seven hundred brick day again. Right, see you next one.